Hi friends, welcome back to Welltech QC, the YouTube channel of Lloyd's Institute of Technologies. I am Vincent. Friends, further to our last video about the metal transfer modes in MIG welding, here we will be explaining the details, criteria, advantages and limitations of these metal transfer modes. So let us see. This time we will explain about the various modes of metal transfers. Basically there are three types of metal transfers in MIG welding or GMAW. That is short circuit transfer, globular transfer and spray transfer. This is the actual welding, MIG welding in various transfers, short circuiting globular transfer and spray transfer. Characteristics of the GMAW process are described in terms of three basic means by which the metal is transferred from the electrode to the work. That is these three metal transfers, modes of metal transfers. The type of transfer is determined by a number of factors including voltage, amperes, electrode diameter and composition, electrode extension and even the shielding gears. Okay, in the first one, let us see the short circuiting transfer. In this mode of transfer, the arc is initiated and a droplet is formed on the end of the wire. The wire touches the work and produces a short arc. It continues. The arc is normally dipped into the weld pool. To achieve a short circuiting transfer, you need all these factors here. Low voltage, which is 16 volt to 22 volt approximately. Similarly, low amperes, 30 to 190 maximum. Uh, and a small diameter 0.6 to 1 mm. Shielding gas is mostly CO2 or a mixture of argon and CO2 to achieve the short circuiting transfer. This advantages of the short circuiting transfer is low heat input, ideal for thin metal like sheet metals, open roots. Poor fit up, low cost process as the main shielding gas is CO2. CO2 is comparatively cheaper than uh, uh, the other uh, argon or helium. And uh, you can weld all position. All position welding is also possible using short circuiting transfer. The other limitations, the limitations of the short circuiting transfer is mainly the spatters. Cleaning is required, metal thickness above 5 mm is not recommended to weld using short arc. Always thin metal, below 5 mm thick metal is recommended to weld using the short circuiting transfer. Especially for sheet metal also it is highly useful. Possibility of cold lap and lack of fusion because the process itself is short circuiting so you have to be very careful and mostly limited to ferrous metal the next one is globular transfer in this mode of transfer a large large ball forms on the end of the electrode as the wire approaches to the work the high amperage and gravity pulls the droplet of the wire and the weld, weld pool forms. To achieve a global transfer, you need higher voltage, amperes, wire feed speed, and wire diameter than short circuit transfer. Slightly higher than the short circuit transfer, approximately 25 to 35 volt and 200 to 500 amps you can go 
why diameter one mm and above shielding gas will be 100% CO2 in most of the cases to achieve the global transfer mode the advantages of this uh, global transfer is uh, low cost shielding gas of course CO2 is low cost and you get a good penetration and high deposition and travels and the limitations are excessive spatters flat and horizontal position only you'll be able to weld uh, very difficult to weld other positions mostly suits ferrous carbon steel mostly suits ferrous metal like carbon steel uh, mild steel alloy steel etc and the next in line is spray transfer typically higher voltage is required for this mode of transfer mps larger diameter is wire than global transfer and shielding gas here the will be always inert gas most of the shielding gas will be inert gas and this will be the true mig weld like uh, minimum 80% argon is required minimum 80% of inert gas is required and you can add CO2 or oxygen along with that but minimum 80% most of the cases is 90 plus 10 or 95 plus 5 uh, to achieve a good spray transfer mode the advantage of spray transfer is smooth weld bead deep penetration, high deposition, little or no spatters and it's very good for aluminum and stainless steel welding. The limitations of spray transfer are higher shielding gas cost because you are using an inert gas like argon and uh, the possibility of undercut will be there flat and horizontal position only you will be efficiently able to weld and uh, the heat the radiation radiated heat towards the operator will be very high okay friends we have now discussed about the conventional modes of metal transfers in MIG welding the video is already more than eight minutes now so uh, i think the remaining part that is modified modes of metal transfers will be uploaded in the next video thank you thanks for watching and goodbye